waiting for the train to go up to Central Park. That noise is a bit obnoxious. Sometimes the train takes a while. I'm gonna go up to Central Park and meet up with a bunch of people. Caught wind that there was something going on, Terry was putting it together. Got my backpack. Got it with me. It's all my stuff. Uh, Eddie. The mighty Thor 1212. Eddie. Picked me up from, uh, from Newark when I flew into town early in the morning, like 7 o'clock in the morning. So thank you so much, Eddie. It was really cool. And he like, let me keep my, stash my stuff there uh, while I was kind of out and about in the city. And he, he helped me out with like, let me take a couple showers there. <laughs> uh, I think they're wrapping it up now over down at the downtown hotel to CQ. So, I don't know, we'll see where I end up tonight. Somewhere awesome. In the Central Park. I'm looking for 72 Central Park West. Hmm. 72 Central Park West is Strawberry Fields. I'll find it. Oh, this amusement park. Right in the middle of the park. Fun slide. Rising waters. It's a bit foreboding. The journey continues. Apparently, it's this way and then to the left. Uh, this way? Down here? This, uh, get some more specific directions. Technology is so fucked up. A baseball game. This park's one adventure after another. Every twist and turn takes you to something new. Oh my god. Exactly. I figure I'll shoot some video, oh, okay, take a break, yeah. and start heading back. I haven't taken much. This is the first bit of video that I've taken. You're a good YouTuber. Well, I guess not. Technically, the first. He's the one of post videos with anything but himself. Fuck. Dude, these are the people I've been hanging out with. That's Phil. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they just sit there and insult me. Fly. We were in the car for a long time. This is the first day we got into town. This is my Chris. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's what I like about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Goes, uh, so, so, lame. And was, a lot of people get I'm like, is it supposed to be a comedy? Yeah, like, I want to be a cross back. No. I'm sexy like this. I don't know. 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 I don't I think still got a soul on it. Yeah. Doc, I'm not like you. He has no soul. I gave up my soul a long time ago. Yeah. I haven't never met you. What's your name? Tony. Tony? Is that your YouTube name? Yeah. I tell all Tony Stock. Oh, you're Tony Stock? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. You're on stick down like all of them. Yeah. You're obsessed with that. People have been saying stick down instead of YouTube. Yeah. My girlfriend's like, Tony is always live on stick down. Whether I'm at my computer or not. Are Mostly you for work? I'd be like, oh, whatever. Are you on the front page? Is that your face? Yeah. Oh, dude, awesome. I just, Thoughts? I just, oh. I just talk to that. I know. I just talk to the employees. Oh, cool. I, I want to have a 10 second clip of you going on the front page. 
Well, they don't do that anymore. We don't play uh, videos anymore. They just play uh, the live video. Whatever the front page. It was a front page. I never go there. I just go to my page. Go to your room. My page. Right. I like people bitch at you when you're not live, and then like when you are, they're like, you're not paying attention. I'm like, well, you guys just, I just open the room and you guys talk to each other. It's just like, it's just like a, just a place, because you guys can't obviously talk to each other on AIM or anything like that. Yeah. That's how it was with the, the, the road trip I did. We got a live webcast from in, within the car. Yeah. And when you're in like Billings, Montana, you know, you're not going to get a cell, a cell crazy, you know, service. Yeah. So you, you can broadcast it. Oh, the webcam's down here. You, know? you only see one frame a minute. Oh, like, I, was, I was driving from like Chicago to Minnesota. I, I got my dad's laptop and got a wireless thing. And it was only like going like one frame a minute. <laughs> yeah. I like talk to technology. I mean, <laughs> the breeze is good. I'm just going to catch my wind and head on out. So you guys going to finish the you going back to that? Nah. You had a good time? I did. Uh, had, had a really good time, man. How about you? Good. Dude, it was so good. Yeah, yesterday during the day was pretty, pretty amazing. Well, I got a PM this morning from one of my subscribers. I mean, I know the name because she always comments, but we don't, it's not like we're buddies or anything. And she said, I just wanted to tell you how disappointing yesterday was. I felt like you totally snubbed me and I had a miserable time. Oh, God. I, I mean, I said hello to her, I gave her a hug, I gave her a kiss, I'm like, what, what was I supposed to do, hang around with you all day? I don't even fucking know you. <laughs> She's probably the one that wasn't, you know, far enough away before you made a comment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there just... I'm moving. Oh. <laughs> what a good job of moving here. Oh, God. <laughs> you got some summer work. <laughs> summer work? <laughs> 17 bucks for someone like I'm not gonna go looking for it. Well, hopefully Yeah. Oh know. my god, it's Charles Trippy! From YouTube? <laughs> and Nick D. Nick, man of action! <laughs> Random dog comes and fights in the garage. That is perfect. Also, David. Corey would have been here, but he's still recovering from Nicky Delphine's <laughs> Did you see that shit? Oh, that. That so bad. He's just like, did you find a room last night? Yeah. I love it. I got all my stuff with me. Do you have a room tonight? Yes. I'll definitely land somewhere. That is excellent. Yeah. Uh, in honor of Nick Cheese. Dude, nice. <laughs> I was trying to be polite and go out the window, you know. <laughs> Mick would just yeah. sticks his head out for the breath of air. He did two drag characters, so he's been in public in drag about 40 times. Yeah, but he also separated his last one. He stayed at Howard's Hotel in his park. He stayed with a gay couple for several months. He's still a douche. No, he is. No, he's a Nazi. He's a Nazi with queer friends. That's all. People don't seem to realize that because after like 9 11, they were like, oh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, he's One day he walked around and acted in the show. But he's also the one that was stupid enough to put the city's command and control center for emergencies where? In the fucking World Trade Center. That's why he was on the street all day, because his command center blew the fuck up. <laughs> Genius. And everybody told him this was after. He put it there after the first attack. And everybody in the city said, it's a target, you douchebag. Don't put it there. Put it underground in Brooklyn somewhere. And he said, no, no, this is going to be fine. So, and the first time they need it, it was blown the fuck up. Oh, wow. He's, a, he's an idiot and douchebag. Don't get worked up, Phil. <laughs> he's going to have a fucking aneurysm. I <laughs> sure. It's loosened up a little under Bloomberg, but it's, it's not what it was back in the 70s. Bring it on again.
Amazon. That's a horrible movie. And we like watched it for some reason. Just like chilling back to chill. Like that's so stupid. Ha ha ha. I'm coming up on 10 minutes for this. Oh really? I think I'm gonna end it on a chunk. Okay, I'll give you a fast one. Wait, it's too late.